Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Okay, so we're all warmed up. We've drawn some nice smooth lines, we've drawn some circles, and we're ready to start drawing some cars. Uh, we're gonna start with side views, and I'm going to begin with a luxury sedan. I'm gonna start with my ground line, and drawing our straight line across the page very lightly. And I'm gonna draw five circles. Remember how we drew circles in equal succession. We drew equal size circles equally spaced. I'm gonna draw five very, very light circles. And the reason why I'm doing that is because that is the typical wheelbase for most vehicles. So the, the ratio of wheel size to wheel distance is generally about these five wheel diameters. I'm gonna let the front wheel be a little bit darker and the back wheel be a little bit darker, but I'm gonna keep it very, very light. Remember, keep it light until it's right. So now I'm going to draw the ground line or the rocker. This is called the rocker, the, the bottom of the vehicle. And for a sedan, it's somewhere below the wheel center. So if I, if I draw the wheel centers here, the rocker is going to be the rocker is going to be somewhere below that wheel center. Then I'm going to draw the, the belt line, which is the line that runs along the uh, top of the doors. I'm going to just very lightly indicate the front and the rear of the vehicle. And generally on a, on a luxury sedan, the, the rear overhang will be quite a bit longer than the front overhang. And the windscreen, I'm gonna also draw an, an additional circle above, above uh, the third wheel here because that gives me an idea of the uh, correct height of the sedan. And you can see I've, I've drawn a line towards the center of the front wheel and that's generally where on a, on a luxury sedan, the windscreen is going to touch down somewhere uh, behind the front wheel, pointing towards the, the center of the front wheel. And I'm just drawing the what's called the greenhouse. This is the the um, the cabin or the the glass, the roof of the vehicle. So this would be a very traditional uh, German sedan, uh, like a like a Mercedes or a BMW. But we're starting with some very familiar. Uh, D designs, we want to stay fairly generic at the beginning because we're really just trying to learn about proportions. And then we can start to talk about how to make our designs a bit more futuristic. You can see also that I'm drawing through the form. I'm drawing through the wheels. And that's just to keep my lines nice and fluid and flowing. So now I'm just putting a few character lines so the rear door should should come either come into the the back wheel or it can it can dive down just ahead of of the back wheel, and then the front door is quite a bit behind the front wheel. This is a dimension we call dash to axle. This this distance between the uh, front wheel and the front door that's the length of the front fender. I'm gonna draw some spokes in my wheels just to give them a sense of, of depth. Now I can start to darken my wheels a bit. You can see where practicing circles is, is very, very important. So as I said, keep it light until it's right. And so as, as the drawing becomes a little bit more crystal clear, I can start to darken some of those, some of those lines and add a bit more, more character. Now let's contrast that with a, a smaller sedan, maybe a C-segment, um, something that might be front wheel drive instead of uh, rear wheel drive. And so uh, I'm gonna draw another side view. And we're gonna talk about a vehicle that might be a little bit smaller in dimension as well. Now, the one thing about smaller vehicles is that uh, the, the vehicle gets smaller, but people stay the same. So the ratio of 
wheel size and glass and body, a lot of those proportions change a bit. So we're going to start with our five wheels again, although the wheels are going to be slightly smaller. You can see this, this wheelbase is quite a bit shorter than the larger sedan. Our rocker line will still be somewhere below the, the wheel centers. But this time our front overhang is going to be quite a bit longer. And that's because front wheel drive vehicles have the engine um, and the transmission turned sideways just ahead of the front wheel plus crush space for crash. And so they tend to have a, a lot more length to the front. And that also means that the cabin, uh, the greenhouse or the, the, the windscreen typically touches down further forward. Now remember what I said about the, the height of the vehicle. Um, because people are about the same size, the height of the cabin is going to be quite a bit taller relative to the body. So the larger car has a, maybe a thicker door, slimmer glass. The um, smaller car has a little bit more glass. And typically these smaller vehicles have a much, uh, much shorter rear overhang. Now in a front wheel drive vehicle, the front door is going to be pressed right up against the front wheel. That's, that's a very short dash to axle. And the door size generally is about the same as the larger vehicle because again, people are about the same size. So we have to maintain that, that nice, uh, generous opening. So generally you can see with the larger vehicle, you have this longer hood, longer dash to axle. You have the cabin set more to the rear of the vehicle. You have the windscreen pointing down towards the center of the front wheel. Uh, your, you have a nice long distance on the front fender between the door and the wheel, longer rear overhang. And on the smaller, more compact sedan, you have uh, the front wheel is pressed a little bit further rearward. You have a longer front overhang. Windscreen is, down, is out over the center of the front wheel. The rear overhang is a bit shorter. Generally, the, over, the overall diameter of the tires is smaller. So the ratio of tire size to Tire distance is the same, five wheels, and uh, generally the overall heights of both vehicles stays about the same. But you have uh, a slightly slimmer uh, door profile and, and a larger glass profile on the smaller vehicle, again, to, to sort of compress the character lines towards the wheels and uh, give, give the car a nice active stance and still provide enough interior volume for a full-sized adult. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.